Time for what I've been told is a disturbingly repetitive tale from the red line with our executive producer, Keith Conrad, who, while clutching the mace that his mother sent him, his mother, uh, mother, that's a combination of mommy and mother, right? sent him, uh, while clutching that mace, he jumps on the red line just after 3 a.m. every day. Keith, uh, what was so disturbingly repetitive about today's ride? Well, today we didn't get out to a great start because uh, Calvin, the CTA motorman, he uh, he waved me off and told me not to get in the first car until he had a chance to spray it down. Spray it down? Why? Apparently something bad had happened in there. <laughs> something bad had happened yeah. inside so, there. So I uh, I got in the second car, uh. and then after the next stop, he actually came on the PI on the PA system <laughs> and said. Uh, to the gentleman who got out at Granville, you can go ahead and go up to the first car now. <laughs> we've, we've sanitized that for you. Yeah. I would imagine for them to stop the train and not allow somebody to go on a car, it has to be, you know. It's got to be ma- pretty epic. <laughs> I would imagine the cars normally are less than pristine. <laughs> and for them to say, whoa, even yeah. you, even at 3 in the morning, we're not going to let this happen. It's got to be pinning the needle. I, I think so.